Hello. Hello. I'm your presenter for, for today. I am Hugh, and on my right we have James, and on my left here we have Dennis. And today, basically, we are talking about our favorite fil films, so like that, um, so like general talk. So now, today we'll start off with James. And nice to be on the show, James. Now, ask me like one thing, but start first of all. Like, what kind of genre of film do you like? I like a range of films, I'll be honest. Comedy, action, adventure, sci-fi. Hard to sort of narrow it down to a few. Hmm. So, so basically you're like, um, well, f you're like um, one of those guys who like say that you're like, like everything, something like that. That's pretty much it, yeah. Nice way, nice way to go. And we'll kick off here with Dennis. So what kind of genre of films do you like? Um, may I ask. I would say my genre, like my favorite genre, I'd probably say is action and zombie. They, they seem to be the most exciting films. So. What kind of um, like uh, zombie films do you prefer? Uh, well. Um, when I watched The Walking Dead, like the series, I really enjoyed watching that. So it was quite good because a lot of suspense and stuff. So yeah, mm -hmm. it's quite good. Nice one. And so now we'll be asking you, like, have you seen like um, any films that uh, you've last seen in the cinema? I think the last film I saw in the cinema would probably be to like with uh, Denzel Washington. Mm. What was it like? Pretty dramatic. <laughs> It's slightly. It's a weird. So, it's a weird story to follow because it sort of jumped back a bit, a lot of flashbacks, and. But it was. It was a very enjoyable film. There was a lot of suspense. Nice. Yeah. So. So, for now, we are going to have a look at a two-minute clip from the film Constantine, starring Keanu Reeves. Now, if we would uh, like to show that. Here it is. Think about that, eh, hey, boys? That was quite good. I've seen the film before, so yeah, it's quite a good film. Hmm. How about you, James? I feel left out for not having seen it yet, but I definitely will want to. Hmm. Well, I hope you do. <laughs> so, now, Dennis, what um, films have you seen when you last went to the cinema? Uh, when I last went to the cinema, I watched the Lego movie. Hmm. How did it turn out? Uh, it was funny in parts and quite good. Nice. So, so now we are now going to be discussing like what uh, favourite actors do you like? Now we'll start off with you James. I guess my probably favourite actor has to be uh, Liam Neeson. He's just done some brilliant thrillers and he's just fantastic. It just in general really. How about you Dennis? I'm not too sure because there's a lot of there's a variety of actors which are good, um, but I, I don't think I'd put a name on like one of them. I think I've like a load, so it's a big group really. So in other words, you you don't really like a fancy like one big no, actor. Just one, you know, just a well, big variety of big actors. variety. And that's exactly the kind of choice that I would like. If I had to be fa if I had to be honest. So, um, 
Um, so now, um, you were saying before that you liked um, adventure and thriller, something like that. What kind of like favorite um, like adventure films do you like? It's, it's difficult to, to narrow it down to one film. I guess, I mean, the Indiana Jones obviously complete trilogy, well, like the trilogy now, is it? it's more films than that, was fantastic, so. So, um, so uh, I'm afraid that's all we have uh, time for today, I'm afraid. So join us next time for more film discussion. Thank you very much. Good night. So. Oh, hello and welcome to Not Pointless. I'm your host for today, Tom Chapman. Today I'm joined with Tom Jarman and Dan Hawkins. Wait, do you want to introduce yourselves? My name's Tom Jarman. That's interesting. Yeah. You should write a biography. I'm Daniel. I'm also interesting. All right. Any favorite films? The Butterfly Effect. Favorite genre? Thriller. Tom? Uh, Guardians of the Galaxy. Guardians of the Galaxy. Any type of favorite genre? Action. Action. All right. So today, we're going to, well, we're going to take the film quiz and we're going to watch a clip of a film. What? Everyone okay with that? Yeah. All right. What so what, what, what kind of films have you guys watched recently? Or what film have you watched recently? Silence of the Lambs. Silence of the Lambs. Tom? Uh, I watched the other guys the other day. The other guys? What, not these guys? No, the other guys. Not these guys? No. No, the other guys? Yes. All right. You're so stupid. Oh, is it now? Yeah. All right, so we're going to watch a short clip from a film called Constantine. All right, okay. It had the uh, actress from The Matrix. Actor. Actor from Matrix. Right. So we're going to watch that? All right. Yeah, yeah. All right then. Oh, actually, <laughs> you watched Constantine? No. No. Oh, well, wasn't that gory? No. No? No. Well, you've watched something of the Lambs. You're not used to it. Well, what do you think of that, Tom? I thought it looked very good, yeah. Very good. Mm. That's what we have to say about it. Yeah, really? Yeah, I wouldn't mind going to see that sometime. You want to go watch it? Yeah. I'll pay your... F oh, g give me a ten, I'll lend you the DVD. Uh, I could probably buy that cheaper in a charity shop. Yeah, you probably could. Daniel? What? How well do you think of it? I'm not going to go see it. Why not? Isn't it about angels, from what we saw in the clip? You know, I think we should move on. Okay. Right, we're going to do the quiz, okay? You okay with that? Yeah. You okay with uh, that? Uh, All right. Right, in fact, we don't have time for the quiz. Oh, that's just such a shame. Oh, don't tell to see who's in it, Daniel. We're going to wrap up. So, it's nice meeting you two, and yeah. I'll see you next week. All right. Wish I could say the same. Oh, hello, and welcome to Not Pointless. I'll be your host for today, Tom Chapman. I'm joined with Tom Jarman. 
and Daniel, Daniel Hughes Hawkins. Hi. Tom, can you tell us a bit about what type of films you like? Well, I like a lot of action, uh, Tom. Um, you know, mainly, you know, car chases, gun, gun fights, you know, all that sort of thing. But uh, I don't mind like sci-fi things either, you know, stuff like Star Wars, things like that. I've got to stop you there. I just rather don't care. Daniel, what's I'm, your I, favorite film? I like all films, really. It's not really the genre. Favorite film? I don't know, probably The Butterfly Effect. Favorite film? Uh, Guardians of the Galaxy. Guardians of the Galaxy. Guardians of the Galaxy. Yeah. Or Gardens of the Galaxy. Guardians right. of the Galaxy. Right, so... So, um... We're going to do a small quiz, if everyone's okay with that. Yep. All right, so it's about which quotes came from the film. So, so which movie did the following quotes come from? Okay. But firstly, let's watch a, um, a small clip from Constantine. Us to do that. Well then, no, that wasn't that interesting. What do you think of that, Dan? It was good. It was good? Yeah. It was good? Yeah. All right. Tom, how do you think? It looks a very enjoyable film. Have you watched it? No. Nope. The whole film? No. Can you remember the name? Nope. Yeah. <laughs> Daniel, can you remember the name? Constantine. That's it. Right, so now, now we've done that, we're going to go to the quiz. Is everyone okay with that? Yep. Yeah. All right. So, which movie did the following quotes come from? You ready? Mm-hmm. All right, poor Catherine. Tick tock, tick tock, tick tock. <laughs> what quote did that film come from? <laughs> no idea. Is that your final answer? Yeah. Oh, no. Tom? Don't know, pass. Pass. It was The Science of the Lambs. I expected you to know that, Daniel. I watched that film. Um, how about another one? Let's see if I see dead people. Um, isn't that from The Sixth Sense? Is that your final answer? Yeah. Dan Shaun of the Dead. All right. Daniel's right. And I'd say Daniel wins with, with one point, one to nil. So, thank you for joining us. I'll see you next week. It's good meeting you. Thank you. Oh, that's my guy. <laughs> Hello and welcome to Not Pointless. I'm Tom Chapman, and I'm joined with Will Rees and Jack Jones. Will, can you tell us a bit about, your, uh, about what films you like? Well, Tom, I like a lot of films. I like comedy films, action films, you know. I, I like, you know, the Bond films and all that. All right. You know, like Casino Royale, that's one of my favourite films. I, and uh, recently I've seen the new film called Escape Plan. Escape Plan. With Arnold Schwarzenegger and Sylvester Sloan, which I found very good. Jack, how well. about you? Well, I'm the same, you know, any film, any film is good, but there are many films, um, well, Indiana Jones films, the same, Bond, um, my favourite film, though, I have to be honest, is uh, Marvel's Avengers, like, I've seen that film so many times, it's unreal. What films have you watched recently? Um, the, recently the last film I probably watched was In Between His Two, you know, ah. I went down with a few mates, it was absolute. it was so funny, absolutely funny. Well, recently, I went to the cinema and I watched Avengers, uh, not Avengers, um, Guardians of the Galaxy. Oh, yeah. It was very good, actually. Right, so enough about that. We're going to do a quiz. It's about what quotes are from what films. You've got to guess what films they're from. Okay? You got that? Yep. All right, question one. It all, all of this happened before, and will it happen again? What Disney film is that from? Oof. Um, 
Um, what's happened before? I can give you a quiz. It's not the, <laughs> the SpongeBob movie. Oh. Um, I'm, I'm going to go with The Lion King. Lion King? Is that your final answer? Yeah, I'm going to have to go with that. All right, Will? Do you want to think? <laughs> um, well, I don't know, Tom. All right. I have well, an answer. I'm going to tell you the answer. It is Peter Pan. Oh. No. I don't know exactly what part of the film it's from. I haven't watched it in a while. Question two. Look, you're really cute, but I can't understand what you're saying. And now for the next question. Oh. I know this one. No. It's no, nothing to do with fish. No. no. I haven't got this one. No? I don't have a clue. No. no. It's Finding Nemo. It's got nothing to do with a fish. It was a lie. Oh, bloody hell. All right. Question three. A lie keeps growing and growing until it's as plain as the nose on your face. These still Disney films, yeah? Yeah, they're all Disney yeah, films. Is that your final answer? Yes. I'm going to go Pinocchio as well. You're both right. It was Pinocchio. <laughs> Question four. Sounds, so, sounds like someone's stick. sick. How lovely. I, I do hope it's serious. Something dreadful. What film is that from? I don't know again. I don't think so. Never heard of it. No. Oh, you need to catch up on your Disney films. <laughs> it's Sword in the Stone. Oh, I haven't seen oh, that film since I was like not a little like. I don't think anyone has. <laughs> <laughs> right, number f question number five. Ladies, don't start fights, but can they finish them? Oof. What quote is that from? Um, I'm going to go with Lady and the Tramp. Well, Lady and the Tramp, you're wrong. Uh, sorry, but we have to finish it there. You drew with one point each, yeah. and that was to poke you. Cut. Cut. So, thank you for joining me, and we'll see you next week. All right. Hello and welcome to Not Not Pointless. I'm Tom Chapman and today I'm joined with Will Reese and Jack Jones. Will, can you tell me some, what kind of films do you want? Like, uh, well, Tom, I, uh, I like uh, many films. I uh, want comedy films, action films, adventure films, you know. I like some of the Bonds, all that, you know, Casino Royale, I do like that film a lot. Favourite films? Or? Yeah, it's a good film, one of my favourite films, yeah. Nice. I, I've recently seen the new film, The Skate Plan. Still talking now, <laughs> Jack. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, you know, same again. You know, I've like many, many films. Just oh, like I don't know, Indiana Jones's. You know, James Bond, classic, really. But uh, so you're copying him. Yeah, <laughs> just basically. <laughs> right. So we're gonna, I'm going to test your film knowledge with this quiz. Mm. You ready? Yep. You ready? Yep. All right. Question one: What was the title of the film that Wheatley Houston starred in? Alongside Kevin Kelster. Ooh. I'm going to have to go with... Is it Sex and the City? Is that your final answer? Yes. I don't know. No? You're wrong. It oh. was The Bodyguard. <laughs> right then, question two. Who plays the bride to be Sophie in the 2008 film Mamma Mia? Oh, um... She's famous. Um, the actor, not yeah. the actual character. Actress. I'm going to have to go with Jennifer Herdman. So your final answer? <laughs> final answer. Oh, your answer? I still don't have a clue. Oh, you're useless. Yeah, I know. Well, the answer was Amanda Severield. Oh, I can't pronounce Severed. that. Severield. Question three. Who starred as the Tarzan in the first movie? Tarzan? Well, yeah, what's the actor's name? <laughs> um, Chris Brown? No. <laughs> <laughs> Kevin Bacon. <laughs> <laughs> no. No, it was Will Wheatley. No, oh, it was, it was close. Elmo Link. Uh, Link. <laughs> I 
again, can't pronounce his last name. Question four, which, was, which two famous film stars played the leading roles in the film Pretty Woman? Ooh, that's not my genre, that is. Um, you sure I'm, you are I'm a very sure. pretty woman? Oh, thank you, thank you very much. Um, I'm not sure, to be honest. You not sure? Well, yeah, you're gonna have to not, move on. Not a clue. The door's just there. If you're <laughs> uh, it was Richard Gere and Juli Julia Roberts. Oh. Now, question five. What was the film, <laughs> what was the name of, the, of Dorothy's dog in The Wizard of Oz? Come on, everyone knows. <laughs> <that. laughs> Come on, what? don't let me down. Oh, down. It's the, like the, the small one. The, yeah, the dog. Yeah, the dog. Oh. Huh? What, what, what was the... the what, do you want me to read the question? <laughs> yes, please. Question number five. What is the name of Dorothy's dog in The Wizard of Oz? Uh -oh. Dodo. Is that your final yes, answer? Yes, that's my final answer. Uh, I don't know, Jim. It was Stan. Oh. No, it was Toto. Yes. You were close. Toto, not Dodo. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> the dog is <laughs> She's probably dead by now. <laughs> Question number six. Who played Jack in the in the film Titanic? Uh, on, everyone knows this. I don't. Tom Cruise. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, uh, oh, I don't, oh, no, what? I don't know. No, Leonardo DiCaprio. DiCaprio. Oh. Right, question number seven. What was the What was the title of the film that Robin Williams played an English teacher called John Kenting? Ooh, Mrs. Doubtfire. <laughs> <laughs> Is that your final answer? Uh, I'm gonna have to take that. That's yeah. Mrs. Doubt, uh... <laughs> <laughs> well, it's apparently Dead Poet Society. Oh, no, that was close. No, not a clue. No, you weren't close. <laughs> oh, I <laughs> Robin Williams. <laughs> Wait, question number eight. Who played Forrest Gump? Ooh. Do you, either Hawk. of you don't get this, I'd quit. Is the, his second name starts with a H? Yes. Tom Hank? Something like that? Is that your final answer? Yeah, I'm going to have to go there. No, I don't Bilbo know. Bilbo Baggins. No, it's Tom Hanks. Yes. It was Tom Hanks. Right, question number nine. Which Disney film does the song The Circle of Life come from? Circle of Life. Lion King. Lion King. Definitely. Yeah, that's exactly Classic. Do you, want, do you want to sing it for us? Just to give us no. an example. I'm not good at singing, to be honest with you. Well, you know, I think that's the hot time, all the time we have left. Yeah. I wish you enough. could sing it for us. But thank you, and join us next week for more pointless shows. <laughs> Hello and welcome to uh, the TV program, um, not pointless. <laughs> um, today we are welcome here, Team Alpha Wolf Squadron, with their lovely leader, Reese. Hi, I'm Reese. I've got Hugh to my left and Ethan to my right, and we are Team Alpha Wolf Squadron. Okay, thank you. And to my left here, we've got Team Dunn, with Rob leading them here thank today. Thank you, Morgan. I've got Dennis on my left and I've got Rowan on my right. And we are team done. Okay, thank you guys. Okay, so we're going to be starting off here by I'll give you some quotes from films, <coughs> and you've got to try and guess what film the quote is from. Okay, so everyone ready? Yep. Okay, quote one Nobody puts baby in the corner. Team Alpha Wolf Squadron. Uh, I don't know. Any idea? No. No. Team Dunn? No. No? Oh, okay. Well, the answer is Dirty Dancing. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> okay. Question two. Tell her that you love her. You've got nothing to lose. You'll always regret it if you don't. It's quite common. Any idea? Anyone got an answer? Got a hint or a clue? Or Hint, clue. Um, it's about it's about love. Well, I wouldn't have guessed that one. 
Is it Love Actually? You, you, you got an answer? No. Is that, is that your final answer? Yeah. It was Love Actually. Well done. <laughs> okay, question, question three. The greatest thing you'll ever learn is just to love and have the love returned. Is that babe, pig in the city? <laughs> <laughs> no idea. I'm afraid it was not babe. <laughs> <laughs> um, the correct answer was Morlene, Morlene Rouge. Close. I don't quite know how to say the name of that, but... M more, I don't know. <laughs> Moulin Rouge or something like that. Okay. Question four. <laughs> <laughs> um, you, you had me at hello. Mm. That's generic. Yeah. Oh, right. And then? Who, uh, the film is somebody's name. Just a single name? No, it's, it's t two names, two names. Team Alpha Wolf Squadron. Um. And then? Ferris Bueller's Day Off. Is that your final answer? Yeah. Um, I'm afraid it was not Ferris Bueller's Day Off. It is Jerry Maguire. Uh. <laughs> oh. Better luck next time. Okay. Question five. Love means never having to say you're sorry. Any hints? Any hints. Okay. Um, Again, it's about love. <laughs> it has love in the name. Anyone? Hmm. The Little Did. Mermaid? <laughs> no. No, The Little Mermaid? Yeah. I'm afraid it was a love story. Oh, close. Uh. Very close. <laughs> Very close indeed. Um, six. I am just a girl standing in front of a boy asking him to love her. Is that the notebook? Is that your final answer? Yeah. <laughs> yeah? <laughs> you want to say no? no it was not the notebook. No. It was Notting Hill. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, okay. <laughs> not doing so good here so far, guys. Okay, question seven. I need to believe that something extra extraordinarily possible. The notebook. <laughs> you got anything? No. No. It wasn't the notebook, it was a beautiful mind. Oh. <laughs> Don't worry, maybe the notebook will crop up sometime. Hopefully. <laughs> Question eight. Poetry, beauty, romance, love, these are what we stay alive for. Hint, um, uh, it's about poetry. No idea, no. Is it the notebook? <laughs> <laughs> no, it is not the notebook. <laughs> it is a beautiful mind. Uh, sorry, no, oh, sorry. <laughs> that was the last one. It was Dead Poets Society. Sorry about that, guys. That was, that was the wrong question. Yeah. Um, question nine. I think one question nine. Um, I may not be a smart man, but I know what love is. Forrest Gump. Forrest Gump. Well, you both go with Forrest Gump. <laughs> yeah. Forrest Gump is the right answer. Well done. Okay. Team, team done. You're in the lead here with, with two points. Team Alpha or Squadron, I'm afraid, down by one point. Okay, question 10. Sometimes I wish I had never met you because, because then um, I could go to sleep and, because then I could go to go sleep at, at night not knowing there was something like you out there. Would you? <laughs> well, I, I kind of messed that one up, but I'm afraid we've, that's all we got for tonight. So, from, from here down in the studio, good night.
talking yeah. about. Oh, okay. So. Oh yeah. So team done. You are the winners thank here tonight. You, thank you. We'll you beat Team Al Alpha Squadron, Team Alpha Wolf Squadron by one point. But maybe better luck next time. Good night. That's good.